All right, guys, super excited for part two. So I wanna say welcome back to my channel and we are going to start uh, putting everything on this business mug. All right, so first step first, um, you need to decide if you don't already have a business name, I'm sure you all do, but if you don't work on that, if um, you need to decide um, like how you want it designed. So I'm just gonna do our logo, which is Zoob's Creation. Um, it's our Husky and the background is like got some purples and yellows and just some color. So I'm gonna do water slide. I'm gonna use my printer. I have a, a HP Desk Jet. It's a 2640 is what I use. It's a waterproof ink. And <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to print out um, my water slides for my mugs. So I didn't wanna waste any of my water slides. So I'm gonna put four on a sheet. Um, because I'm going to make some more mugs to give away. So, um, yeah, I just don't want to waste any paper. So anyway, so what I did was I went ahead and I uploaded my logo. I uploaded some information that I want on the cup. I was very decisive on what I wanted the cup to say. Um, I did kind of do some research and was kind of getting an idea of how people were doing cups and they were putting like their logos, their, um, the business name, their phone number. I don't really want my phone number on it. Um, I think I'm going to do that for one of them, but, um, I really want the social media part on there. So like, um, so one of these specific cups I'm going to take to a, a car dealership and, that way that whoever sees this mug can just go on social media and join my Facebook or even YouTube and then they can contact me through that. So you could put your phone number or you don't have, to, I mean, it's really just your choice. Um, but I think for this one, I'm going to put the phone number, but maybe for the other ones, I'm just gonna put all the social media on it. Cause I mean, you can put whatever you want, but just so you guys know, because you guys have no idea what this cup is going to be at the end. Um, the cup is going to be um, designed only on one side. You're not going to do the other side. So you're only doing one side. So for an example, um, I'm holding the cup like this. So the design is going to be all right here. We're not doing the other side at all. So um, you just need to make sure that whatever you decide it needs to be able to fit all on one side of the cup. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around and I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing right now and then we're gonna go ahead and print the logo and then I'm gonna use my Cricut to get all of the other information um, cut out so that way I can get it weeded and we're gonna put it on our mug. And then we're going to epoxy. We're going to let it turn for about 16 hours, making sure it's completely cured. And then we're going to get to the very last step of this business cup. So I'm pretty excited. Um, this is the first time I've ever actually done this. So I'm really, really excited to find out how it's going to look when I'm done. And I hope you guys really like this video and I hope it inspires someone else to um, make the same thing. And I would love to see how it all turns out. All right, so let's get you guys turned around. Okay, so you can see um, I already, I'm using my logo here and I'm making four of them because it's gonna cover the whole sheet. Um, what I did was I did measure. So I think I'm doing about two and a half, maybe three inches. Um, yeah, I think it was about three inches uh, wide or long. So you want to make sure that it's perfectly um, on the white part of your cup. If it comes down on the ombre a little bit, that's fine. It's not a big deal. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're not going to hit it, but we're going to click print. We're going to send it over to the printer. And then we're going to take it outside and we're going to clear coat 
with rust-noleum. Um, it's gonna seal it so that the water slide doesn't rip and it's easier to go on your cup. Awesome, I love it. So these are gonna be going on some mugs. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's get these sealed. Okay, so we are on my back porch. So this is the Rust-Noleum uh, semi-gloss clear that I use. You can use whatever you want as long as it's clear. And you're basically just going to do three coats. Sometimes I only do two because I don't want it too thick. The more you put on there, the thicker the water slide will be. So basically you're gonna spray it, let it dry, and then do another coat. If you feel like you need three coats, then do three coats. So this is just an example of what you can put on it. And you wanna measure your cup again, and you wanna make sure that you are measuring, you know, where everything is gonna be placed and make sure that it's not too big and not too small. So <clears throat> once you get it on there, you can actually weld it all together. That way it prints all together and you don't have to do individually printing. I mean, obviously this is way too big. I just happened to put these on there and was trying to play around with them to see how I wanted them. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, but I just want to give you guys an idea of like, you can put anything you want to advertise your business on this mug, as long as it's able to sit, like I said, on the front of this. So you're not using the back part of the mug. You're only using the front and it's going to be more like this because it's going to sit. Let me show you on a flat surface. So it's going to sit, it's not going to be like this. It's going to sit like this. So you're gonna use, your logo is gonna go here and then all of your advertising, um, how to contact you is gonna be about right there. All right, so I, I have put, I only put two sprays on here because it's pretty thick already. So I'm just gonna leave it. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing in between. So I went ahead and I decided to do it this way instead of the other way I was doing it. And then, so I'm gonna put all of my social media on the cup. And then that one, this is the um, project I'm doing. But, ooh, it's still a little tacky. But I'm gonna go ahead and do water slide on that one too. And yeah, this is what I've been doing guys. So we are, just about ready to go ahead and start putting these on. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these out. And remember, I made extras because I'm gonna be making some other cups, um, some coffee mugs that I have. That way I can give them away. And then I decided I'm making this logo to go on my son's cup. And I did this in sticker. So this is actually sticker paper, so I printed it out and I'm sealing it because the reason why I chose to seal this is because if you was to put this on your cup, then your epoxy will soak into the sticker and then it leaves like this half soaked um, look to it, like a wet look. So I like to spray this at least three times, then I will cut it out and then we'll stick it on the cup. But that's just how I do it. Everybody has their own preference, but that's just um, the way I like to do it. So this is sticker paper. And the reason why I chose sticker paper is because I wanted it to be really vibrant. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get to the next step. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out my water slide and we're gonna place it on the cup in position and we're gonna soak this in some water and then we're going to slide it right off that white piece of paper on the back of it and put it where you want it. And then we're gonna make sure that we get all the water out of the water slide so that way it sticks. And we're gonna position the rest of um, whatever decals I have, which is the YouTube, the Facebook. Um, we're gonna put that on the bottom of the cup.
a water slide on your cup and you're about to put your sticker you have to be careful to cut the extra sticky part off so that it doesn't touch your water slide if it touches the water slide it will rip it and pull it off and then you will have to take the whole water slide off and redo it so I usually just cut the edge off like you just seen me and then I stick it on
Okay, so now we're putting it on the turner and sorry about the placement, I'm trying to get it all fixed. But we're putting it on the turner so we can apply our epoxy to seal our water slides and our vinyl and that way none of it will come off. finished our cup we have our logo we have our glitter we've had it epoxied it's turned out really good I'm really excited the way it turned out so now we're gonna get to the final stage of your advertising um, so obviously you're gonna your logo and um, any kind of uh, social media that you want to put on I mean you could put whatever you want this is just what I did for this one for the first one. So um, I wanted to go over uh, all the supplies that I have for the last part of this um, cup project. And I wanted to, um, well I'm outside because, the reason why I'm outside is because um, I want to put this somewhere to where I can leave it for 24 hours and it not get moved, nobody touches it, um, and you're not gonna have this on a turner or anything like that. So I decided to do this on my porch, my back porch, because there's a lot of ventilation and um, I can leave it sitting out and nobody will mess with it. I mean, nobody would mess with it inside either, but um, I do have cats and I don't want the cats, you know, getting near it or thinking that it's actually like a food or something like that. First thing first. Okay, so I want you to wipe the inside of your cup really good. Make sure there's nothing in it, you know, cause you could get glitter in it, you could get dust, whatever. Um, so, and my dog is out here and if you guys hear anything, it's my AC uh, making noise. So I apologize ahead of time. And then I have my Jack Russell is out here. Um, and he likes to go after the squir squirrels. He likes to go after the lizards that get on our screen on the outside. So, or if he sees a light, he goes crazy. So anyways, um, so anyways, I went ahead and I wiped the inside. So the inside's clean. My rim has been cleaned. Everything is good. So if you wanted to actually drink out of this right now, you could do it. It's ready to go. Or. If you don't want to do what I'm getting ready to do, you don't have to. You know, this is just an addition to basically advertising your business. You could give this away to like your biggest customer. Um, or if, for an example, you know, you have somebody that has their own business, they could use this at, in their business to advertise for you. Um, I don't know I mean you could just do whatever you want to do or just keep it at your house and use it as a display I don't know whatever y'all want to do okay so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys my supplies that I have and then we will get started on the last part of this project all right okay so for the last part of the project for the mug um, other than you needing your mug and you don't have to decorate your mug. This is just what I'm doing because this is um, how I'm going to advertise and give this cup away. So for supplies, you're gonna need a set of gloves. You're gonna need alcohol ink. 
and you can pick whatever color you want. Um, I am picking espresso. And then you're gonna need your A and your B epoxy equal amount. Um, and you're gonna need a pepper towel. Pepper towel. And you need your parchment paper. So all of this stuff is gonna play a good role in getting this project finished so that we can um, show you the end result. So let's get this started. So I'm gonna put my gloves on. We are going to, we're going to take our A and our B and we're going to mix them together. I already have my, my A in my cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my B. And I am actually did a full, so I think it's 30 mil A and B. I want a lot of epoxy for this. Um, last part. So make sure that you do exactly the same amount so that way it cures properly and mixes and cures the way it's supposed to. You know, if you don't do the equal amount, then it will be tacky and You'll, your project won't be able to get finished. All right, so what we're gonna do is, um, normally I wouldn't care about bubbles, but we are not going to mix this to where we get crazy bubbles. So what I'm gonna do is, let me put something on this napkin so the wind doesn't blow away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this thoroughly, but I'm gonna do it at a slow motion. I don't want any crazy bubbles in here. If you get a couple little ones, it's okay. But we're gonna do slow motion. And we're gonna do this until our epoxy is fully mixed and the epoxy is clear. Okay, so we're gonna take a couple of drops and of the alcohol ink, mix it. Make sure you're mi mixing slow. I have this on speed, so that way I'm not like wasting your time. But I want you to mix it as slow as you can. If you wanna mix more than one alcohol ink, you can do that to get the color that you're looking for. This is where we are. I added a little bit more of the rose wood. And this is what it's looking like. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is starting to look like a coffee color. Now, the reason why you wanna use alcohol inks when you are making this is because um, the alcohol ink is going to make it um, more of a clear liquidy and if you use any kind of paint, it's not going to look like this. It's going to be thicker in color. And you want this to look like it's an actual um, drink. So I don't recommend you using any kind of paints, just use alcohol inks. Um, and then, like I said, you could just add as much as you need to make it as dark as you're wanting to. Okay, so this is still pretty runny. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes. And once this gets a little thicker, then we will go ahead and start placing it on our parchment paper and in our cup. So basically what our goal is, is we're gonna make a spill. It's gonna be like an accident. So let me see, I don't wanna get this all over my, that's why you have a napkin. So this is going to sit like this, 
okay? And then you're gonna take some and you're gonna put it in there and it's gonna be on the inside of your cup and then it's gonna come and spill out. So that's the goal, guys. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and let this thicken up a little bit and then we will go ahead and get to the next part. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to thicken up, you're gonna keep checking it. I'm still pretty, pretty runny. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some and we're gonna pour it in our cup. Okay, and then we're going to take it and you're going to kind of roll it around in the cup, coating the inside, okay? Just keep coating it. And that's all we're gonna do until, we're gonna get a nice coat. And it is thickening up in here too, so. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this coated. You're gonna just keep turning it until it kind of coats the inside of your cup. Let me turn this a little bit this way. I know it's like really hard to see. Hold on. Let me adjust you guys. Okay, there we go. So now I can see actually what I'm doing. So you're just gonna kind of mix and you can add more. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little more to it. And whatever you don't want in the cup, you can always pour out. Okay, so what I what I did was I coated the whole the inside, but I only did half of the cup, so you could just do it however you want, but you're just gonna take it around and make sure it's coated really well. So it's gonna sit like this with your handle down. So now I'm just gonna let it run a little bit coming out of the cup. So it's going to stay on this, so this is basically, I'm just going to leave it. We're not going to move it anymore. So we're going to naturally let it do the natural spill. And then we're going to take all of this and we're going to pour it right here. Okay, so it's running out perfect. It's making its own little spill. So now I'm gonna take, this is still too thick. So I'm just gonna kind of let this keep sitting a little longer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little more to my spill. And you'll have to use your stick to kind of guide so it doesn't kind of go wherever you don't want it to go. And this is going to have to sit for a good 24 hours. Don't come over here, buddy. And you can kind of pick up your paper and get your paper to kind of pull it other directions, but it's going to start thickening so it won't be moving as much. That's on top. Hmm? That's okay. I mean, I'll wipe it off, but. Probably on my finger. So. 
So it's probably under this too, which is good. So if once this thickens, then everything will stop moving. But if you notice it's coming over too far, just kind of hold it. You can actually stick something under it so it doesn't come this way anymore. But it's, it's not really moving anymore like it was. So we're going to let this sit for over 24 hours. And then we will uh, come back on and see how it looks. I really don't want my handle in it, so I'm kind of shifting. And I do have some more. So later on, if this thickens, if I want to make this thicker and have it coming out a little more, we can do that. And then it's coming down like halfway down my cup, which is what you want because you want this to um, attach to the cup. Pretty cool, right? I like it. So you guys let me know what you think. It makes me um, want to run over and clean it up. <laughs> it looks messy. And then once this is fully dry, this will peel right off of this parchment paper. Stay over there, no running allowed. But you want that natural spill look, basically. All right, guys, so this is the next day. I let it sit out here all night long, 24 hours, basically. And I wanted to show you guys, let's see if I can do this with one hand, but I wanted to show you how easy it's gonna peel off. So it's still curing, um, and there's some glitter on it. That never fails. But anyways, but look how easy it just peels, peels right off. Move this stuff. Sorry, guys, I'm one handy enough. <laughs> oh, nice. But it's not fully cured yet. So, I mean, it's not sticky. It's just still very, like, it will bend. But look at that. But look how it did on the bottom. So, if this is too big, let's say you did a pour and it was too big. You could always trim it back. You could always just take some and trim it back. But I kind of like the natural spill. Because you never know how it's going to look. So I like it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I would love to have some input on what you guys thought. Um, and if anybody, you know, tries to make this. I would uh, love to be tagged in it. That way I can see how you guys did it. Maybe you guys have a different technique. Um, I do recommend a darker color, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.